It's basically about the, the, the king in Sweden that, and, what, and how he, he's actually the most powerful guy in Sweden and it's, it's a bit weird to think that because we never really, we never asked for that so no one asked for that so really and uh, so we just like want to let him know that we didn't, we don't want him to do that job really anymore. So should let him know all the time, maybe by email or I don't know if he's reading emails. I don't think he can read. It's just fiber and heritage, so it's we gotta go get rid of that system. So it's... And Bjorn had this song in his head. So while we were playing, Bjorn was like, eh! It was like um, this massive uh, ID puke. We had uh, a lot of um, different references we were listening to by REM, like this classic Radio Free Europe. Uh, That's a t quite a different sound. We had on that song and on uh, d Down Like Me and also Second Chance we had this 12-string uh, guitar as the main rhythm guitar and it was a microphone, it has the mic really close to the strings as well so it's a, like a very acoustic feel to the sound but then there is the, the amplifier, and the, which has a lot of reverb on it. <laughs> and then we needed the riff in the beginning. <laughs> and I thought of the only ones. I'm going to be around when the summer comes along. Lovers of today, so. It's the, we stole a lot of things. And then for the middle eight, at first that sounded, we wanted to sound like Rolling Stones doing disco, like uh, Miss You. So we had, I had some... But uh, that didn't work out, uh, so we, we tried to put in some lyrics, and that didn't work out either. Uh, and then Per brought in a reference by the Godfathers called... Uh, Birth, school, work, death. Which is a really good song. And then we kind of nicked that idea with just having wow, bursts of one syllables words so i guess it's a composite of <laughs> references i can assure you that i had a lot of parts that i took out from that song so it's not as simple as you might think it is to write this kind of song i don't know if 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 you can say that you have a black book that you write all your negative stuff in if you're from Sweden, it sounds super cool. Uh, lines of directed to something you're mad at. Yeah. It could be, it's anger management <laughs> in a song, maybe. Yeah. It could be about me. I think it's about me sometimes. Shut up, play your guitar. It sounds like shit, maybe. <laughs> really nervous uh, feel yeah usually it, that's when you when I write songs it's while walking in the city and then you just do do oh, that's good and then you record it on your phone and then you go through your phone and you find stuff I did this and I <laughs> so then I added boo 
which I think was, I thought was a good thing. And I've actually, I think Bjorn played this Johnny Burnett thing once. Uh, So that was the demo. It, it, we weren't happy about the take. It, it didn't sound right. So what we did was we just sped it all up. It's, it's, it's in the computer though, so I think it was tricky to do for Pear, but. And uh, this is me singing lead on this song in oct October, octaves, yeah. The, the high vocal and the low vocal is my vocals. and. Since I had like an infection all that summer, like some stuff in my throat, I had a cold almost the whole summer, my voice sounded amazing. So that's maybe that's why Per wanted me to sing that song on my own. I thought that Peter should sing that first, but it ended up being me. Uh, I think I shouldn't sing more songs than one. Nah, Peter is the singer, I think he should do that. <laughs> I wasn't there. I was mostly playing video games or like iPhone basketball during these sessions or just not, you're sitting like this but not, you're thinking about something else.